So here we have the Hyundai Tucson on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot, you can see that we have reversing sensors. This car's also got a reversing camera, plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. And then underneath this tray section, a space saver spare wheel. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard. So let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles of this car, which are 24,720. The information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. So at the moment, you can see we have a digital readout for the speedometer. We're on the driving data menu at the moment, but there are other menus available as well. And they include satellite navigation, your tire pressures and user settings. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using a moment ago are here. We have cruise control and speed limiter over that side as well. On the left hand side, we have stereo controls, phone controls, and then the phone controls continue just above that. Uh, you won't be able to use any of the phone controls until such time as you've paired up the phone. And that is done on the touch screen over in the center just here. Hit all menus, and then you'd hit the phone one and follow instructions to pair it from there. Uh, when it comes to music, we have the radio. This car has got DAB, FM, and AM radio, as you can see. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. Uh, you would hit this media tab, which is currently grayed out. That's because nothing is connected at the moment. Uh, you can connect up an auxiliary device. A USB device. You can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. And if you plug in your phone via USB, you can see that you would get Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. We've also got satellite navigation. There's a full video that shows how that works that you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel. And if I pop the car into reverse, a full color reversing camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image you see being shown on the screen. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures, the fan speed up and down. You can determine where you'd like the air to be redirected once it enters the vehicle. When you're happy with those settings, the air conditioning is on at the moment. So off, back on again, or hit auto. The car will now take control of the fan speed for you and the direction of the air to maintain those two temperatures. To override that, readjust the fans to whatever level you want them on and put it back on whatever setting you want it on here as well. Under that, we have heated driver and passenger seats, both of which have three different heat settings each. And at the bottom, two 12 volt charging sockets, auxiliary and USB inputs. And then this pad here will act as a wireless uh, charger for your phone. So if your phone is able to charge wirelessly, pop it on there, it will start to charge. A little, a little light will come on in there to let you know that that is happening. Uh, and there it's as easy as that. We have a six speed manual gearbox and then these buttons just here. So this one turns on and off the parking sensors. This turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. I've just turned the system off. And then these two buttons I'll show you up on here. So the first of those two turns downhill brake control on and off again, of course. The second one puts the steering mode in normal or sport. 